Hakuna kitu kikubwa yani ama kizuri sana zaidi ya kuwa na imani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na kuwa na tumaini. Haijalishi nini ambacho unapitia. Unaweza kuwa unapitia hali ngumu, unapitia magumu lakini kitu ambacho unafaa kuwa nacho ni tumaini. You should always have hope and be hopeful. Eh haijalishi nini ambacho unapitia leo hii. Round ikiwa ni ya pili mambo ni mseto ngoma umesikiza hapo ni tumaini ya Joyce Omoni ambaye tuko naye hapa live. Malizie hiyo jina tu vizuri. And I'm just so happy to be here, man. Thank you guys for having me. Nashkuru. Benye mesikia kwa, okay, guess kwa mziki na etwa tu Joyce Omwondi, but then kila mtu lazima ungeze yo wa higa hapo mwisho. Yeah, njoo kaya vizuri. Njoo ni kaya vizuri, ni kaya kabi kwa mtu. Yani uka you belong somewhere. I belong somewhere. Pia ni muimu kaya kwa una belong somewhere. Jua tu ita unika na emu. Mazea, mazea, mazea. Eh, michezo. You never know. Jess, uli, uli, where did you grow up in? Mimi nilizaliwa hapa Nairobi, nalelewa hapa Nairobi. So I'm just I'm a city girl. Oh, you're a city girl. I'm a city girl. Yeah, but pia napenda Oshago. Oshago, Oshago ni wapi? Koru. Koru. Uh-huh. You often go there? Yeah, yeah, I try. Um it's just quiet, green. Ni Unajua hata huko hewa, yani kila kitu is just different. It's safi, it's just quiet, it's chill. So Koru uko huko karibu na Londian. Tuseme 45 minutes from Londian. Ah. Yeah. Watu ufanya nini huko sana? Waje usishana. Wanalima, tunalima sukari. Mm-hmm. Lakini eme, wacha hiyo ni Do you know ushaishika, but... ushaishika jembe wewe. Eh. Hey! But I'm not, I'm not good. Like, I won't lie. Nimeishika. Kushika ma <laughs> kushika na kufanya kazi <laughs> tofauti. Uh, kuitumia sio sana. Growing up in Nairobi, in terms of kabla tarudi ya kujia kwenye itas ni yeye. In terms of what you want to learn, Joyce. I think kwangu muziki I think was always there, but sikuta kati kuwa manamuziki. It was just never a thing. So me na chesa piano, um, and that was my thing. And then I enjoyed acting, shuleni, mm. kidogo kidogo tu hapa na pale. Acting. You know, like these are my home science, my kunit, kubek, yeah. yeah. those type of things. I used to enjoy those. But yeah, I have two brothers. So I was a tomboy, so I liked sports. I was on the basketball team. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. So I was just, you know, a regular kid. Kadoto na kitu ya kina mwesha nda kukuliza. Lakini kabla kukulize. Naomba miwe ni kukulize. Maparongo nukua ni wakukazia. Sana. Wajua mamangu ni mgiri ama babangu ni mjaluo. He? He, umeshtuka aji. Nyumbani hii usikia. So mamangu ni mgiri ama. So unajua lazima uko. Watu wakua ni menye wanalea wa sichana. Tunalea vizuri. He, unalelewa vizuri sana. You have to be mwana mki wa heshimu. So... Mimi nilikuwa na curfew za G5 PM 6 PM wacha niseme sana in case is listening but um so I mean alikuwa na nikinga sana na vitu nyingi and I appreciate that because mm. baada ya muda nikaenda nikasomea maju and mm. I think if I didn't have that foundation mm. najua sasa nika sijui ni nini ka kitu umefungiwa alafu umefunguliwa tu milango mm. ukitoka nje now suddenly you have all this freedom you can go wild you can go crazy but I think having that foundation from just yeah. being raised well and they want to be overprotective but they certainly showed me the way I should go um so i'm grateful for it now back then i hated it eh? like siku ipenda kabisa but sai naweza angalia nyuma niseme hey yenyewe asante punishment to visit punishment hey. charges punishment shall wait up to one nitandikwa uko mfanya nini i think just just being naughty, not being a tomboy, I'm the firstborn. So my brothers would always get me in trouble. So then as the as the as the girl, sasa comes chana kwa nyumba, lazima unaambia unafaa ujue unafaa uwaonyeshe njia. Sio ati una una unawafuata tu na Kenya wanafanya, unafaa uwaonyeshe njia. So I used to get in trouble for that sort of thing. Na kutolala mapema. As nilikuwa sayo tinalala kuchelewa. Ah. Unaona kuja 
wanazimata wasema wewe lala sasa sawa nimezimata kutoka hivi kidogo ndio mimi huyo nimeshawasha watu wa pwani wana hulk kama mtu mwenye damu ya pwani ana hulk ya kuampishi mzuri are you good in the kitchen i believe i'm a i i'd say you know lazima ujichunge kabla useme that you are good cook like you have to be careful how you toot your horn but i can throw it down in the kitchen oh really nini sana sana unakuwa unamfanya waiga na panic anakimbia home anakuja mbio mbio home sana sana anapenda my curry chicken ah. anapenda waliwanazi curry yeah, chicken well, well, hey. yeah. kuna couscous salad hapo yeah. pia anapenda yeah. mpaka anafanya anakula njahe hiyo anapenda sana yeah. alafu pia umeonyesha vitu za majuu kidogo soma pasta dishes wewe yeah. wewe yeah yeah wasema yeah. arabi mnasikia mambo <laughs> lakini <laughs> 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 Uh, kuingia kwenye sanaa ya muziki na pia katika utangazaji mm-hmm. kwenye Lumenga that journey yeah. it is important to watu waweze kufahamu <laughs> well um nilipokuwa mdogo yani nilikuwa na one of the toys nilikuwa nimenunuliwa ni a toy piano na nilikuwa naipiga piga tu sana so my dad akafikiria labda anataka kujua ku Mm. kucheza hiyo piano so akaenda kanunua piano sasa kubwa <laughs> eh sasa ile kubwa kabisa aha uh-huh. uh, wakaniingiza lessons so nikaanza kukunzwa aha uh-huh. i think at that time i was like 3 or 4 years old uh-huh. uh, by the time i was 6 years old sasa nilikuwa kwa worship team kanisani aha uh-huh. uh, so nilikuwa nacheza tu hapo kanisani sikuwa na matarajio ya anything else uh-huh. uh, kusoma hata nilisoma economics sijawahi <laughs> uh-huh. soma communications ama uh-huh. broadcasting or anything like that uh-huh. um, so nikaenda nikafanya masomo but nilikuwa pole pole tu na naendelea na ya, ya, huduma tu kanisani yeah Um, lakini babangu alikuwa kwa bomb blast 1998 oh. na ilituruga sana yani kwa familia yani hao mapito ndani ya hospitali miezi na miezi na miezi for like several years yeah. so it was just really rough um kitambo nilikuwa naenda sasa university maju uh, alikuwa mgonjwa sana and it was one of those ones niende ama nisiende juu moyoni unajua nikienda labda hata kuwa nikirudi uh, but kwa nemba ya, nema yake Mungu nilirudi alikuwa amepona and um, he was okay and that's what led to my first song conqueror because yani alikuwa na as a singing and yeah it was inspired by that because na nena inasema we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus and for me this was a living example of someone that yani ameshikilia amevumilia amepigania na kila kitu so that's how conqueror was born uh-huh. <laughs> and that's how my whole album na muziki kaanza hivi hivi Aha. Ah, ulipoenda majuli na majuli wapi hasa hasa na ulienda kusoma ya taaluma gani umesema? Nilienda Illinois ama kama wenzangu wa Ujaluoni wanapenda Illinois. Nilienda Illinois shule kazi dogo, yani ushagoya huko majuli hata sijui nilipata aje huko. But I was called Knox College, a very small school, but up on Kasoma Economics. How many years? Four years. Four years. Mm-hmm. Ukamaliza ukarudi nyumbani kwa ingia kwenye mzee. Sasa mimi ni yule mtu. Nikimaliza like exams ni leo, tuseme leo ni Tuesday. Wednesday mimi nisha book flight niko nyumbani na na hey. I was every time like my holidays mimi nilikuwa huko. Mimi ah. wangu nilikuwa tu huko nyumbani. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, this is uh, quite interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so so we will some make it to fault degree ambacho unafanya. Mm-hmm. How did you make it into the uh, TV industry? Sasa TV hata ndio hata mimi nikifikia naanza tu kucheka because TV pia yote alianza tu kanisani nilikuwa nafanya huduma hapo kwa church teens church unajua ukitaka youth leaders nini nini kwa nafanya hizo uh, sita mudli hapo mm-hmm. npc would be karibu na jamhuri grounds mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nafanya tu teens class leadership So siku moja pastor wangu alisema ati oh kuja ufanye moderation ya mikwe MC yeah. tuseme wa kanisa yani the service yeah. akasema nimefanya vizuri akasema eh hey, hii itafanya uta, u, watana tu na youth service utakuja pia ufanye na family service wote mbili uh-huh. so kidogo kidogo sasa nilikuwa nafanya kazi 
and you see nimepata hiyo degree na economics mm. mimi niko kazini kazini niko na nituma hata niko i think na safari ya Malawi <laughs> lakini niko nafanya Groove Awards wakaniita ku host nomination night siji wali nitaji i think new year pastor uh-huh. as patrick kuchio mm. jali waelezea like na wewe msichana kanisani i think mpena pasi uh-huh. so awards liko i think on a tuesday night wednesday mimi 6 am nafani kwa jkm naenda zangu kufanya kazi <laughs> so nili host it so nomination night na nomination night is just the artists and media right mm-hmm. so nilipomaliza sasa watu wako hapo chini watu Who are you where have you been where where have you come from eh you need we need to do auditions so me nash to come like what is happening yeah. so i was like okay here's my number mean ka the next morning ni msafiri nimeenda kazini nikarudi alafu kidogo kidogo nikaanza ku auditions auditions wapi na wapi ulitwa um the city of ingin city of ingin eh city of ingin ni ta baadaye but pia mimi mamangu mgiriama baba njaluo education is very important so i was like i'm not waiting around for people to call me yo like my life has to continue so soon ka apply grad school so nilitoa kitu kingine nation i think wali nipigia but the show i don't i think i was a very brave girl because i was like that's not my kind of show Uh-huh. And I just felt it wasn't the direction I wanted. Na ukakata kazi. Kakata. Ulipewa offer kazi ya kazi ukiacha. Eh yeah, it was it wasn't an offer offer but they were calling for come and try this for this and I was like no I'm not going to try for that. Wakati watu wanatafuta hiyo opportunity wewe ukasema hapana. Lazima ujiamini pia na ujie mahali unataka kwenda. Wewe I mean of course there's that time u, ujaribu mm-hmm. but if you know that door is not for you sit yeah. waste mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. So eventually um Kekru alinipigia simu sasa for Rauka. Uh-huh. Um wali but eventually I came to the auditions Uh, sasa kati kati ya auditions na guest hosting it kwa muda tena so mimi nika apply shule mm-hmm. so the following year um, now my music I'm already recording na shule sasa zinaanza kuita nimesema <laughs> we've accepted this is my masters na sasa hiyo mdosi wangu kazini amesema you better go to grad school i'm seeing something in you una mm-hmm. msi apply shule ndogo ndogo apply hizo makubwa kubwa mm-hmm. so i applied to two schools the top two schools in my field nan kaingia the same week ndio nikaanza kuitwa na citizen i was like eh Hello? <laughs> what do i do ilikuwa <laughs> ilikuwa very confusing because these were two passions ah. so eventually how i made the decision was i said kasho uh, leo atanipea mwaka ya kukaa nyumbani ni defer for one year i'll do the show so nilingia rauka 10 years ago actually ah. Nikiwaambia natoka hii siku this will be my last day because i have to go to school i need to do this because mm-hmm. si kutaka kuamka siku moja niko na miaka sijui 50 na nianze kukuwa na hizo regrets that sikusoma na nilikuwa na hiyo nafasi uh-huh. so it worked out i did the show for the one year while i was here is when i released conqueror i released my album conqueror won an award at the same groove awards that i was hosting wow. the year before and then i left and went to school nikaporudi ndio i did my second album and now i'm back Oh. <laughs> this girl has a story. Oh, she knows what she wants. Umeona kwa kile kitu? Si kile kitu ni kitu watu wanakiwa kurupuka. Ah, 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 process, yes. process. Be patient with your journey. Beautiful. Be patient with Beautiful. your journey. Beautiful. And you should have goals. Absolutely. Focus on your goals. Uldada alikuwa na lengo alisema mimi sitaki kuja kujuta kama nilikuwa na fursa ya kusoma na sikuifuata hiyo fursa. Eh akasema kwamba I'm giving myself time. One year nitafanya hii lakini baadaye nitaenda yeah, niende. <laughs> Ukiwa na lengo ndugu yangu dadangu naye nisikiliza. Make sure kwamba ile lengo lako unalifuatilia mpaka litimie. Kweli. Na kama una passion ya kitu fulani usikiache. Yaani kuna passion ya kwa mtangazaji alitamani kuhile kuwa hapa alipo. Mm-hmm. Unajua lakini anasema kwamba let me finish this first and then, and then we'll back. she's back. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen and she has a very very good song about people atakuwa anaizungumzia baadaye cha msingi ni kutega sikio ili uweze kusikia alafu sasa story inakuja baada ya story akafunga ndoa alipatana na mtu ambaye mtu ambaye amefunga naye ndoa ni mtu ambaye wanafanya kazi hapa hapa akanyaguliwa 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 yani kituo kimoja kituo kimoja Wahiga Mwaura. Jason Mwaura is good. Walianza nzani. Hey, boy child. Yeah. Wahiga ni panic, alimwona akapanga yeah. kitu kikubwa yani ama kizuri sana zaidi ya kuwa na imani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na kuwa na tumaini. Haijalishi nini ambacho unapitia. Unaweza oh, yes. kuwa unapitia hali ngumu, 
unapitia magumu lakini kitu ambacho unafaa kuwa nacho ni tumaini you should always have hope and be hopeful eh haijalish nini ambao unapitia leo hii round ikiwa ni ya pili mambo ni mseto ngoma umesikiliza hapo ni tumaini ya Joyce Omoni ambaye tuko naye hapa live malizie hiyo jina tu vizuri malizie jina vizuri wewe ni mimi wewe wa hega thank you asante yani ni ni mke wa mwenzetu ambaye anaweza sema kwamba ni jamaa ambaye anapendwa na wengi kutokana na kitu kizuri na kikubwa ambacho anafanya kwenye runinga ya Citizen so wote wanafanya kwenye running as is na hiyo ni kitu ambacho kweli watu wengi wamebaki na maswali. Hivi unaweza fanya kazi na mpendwa wako kwenye how? How? Tutapata majibu ya maswali ila kwanza naomba ujitambulishe kwa msikilizaji Kenya na kusikiza. Oh man, asante sana kwa majina naitwa Joyce Mondi Wahiga and I'm just so happy to be here man. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Nashukuru. Mbenye mmesikia kwa okay guess kwa mziki naitwa tu Joyce Mondi but yeah. then kila mtu lazima ongezee hiyo waihiga hapo mwisho. Yeah. Yeah. Ndio kae vizuri. Ndio so, <laughs> nikae vizuri, nikae kama vipo mtu. <laughs> yaani ukae you belong somewhere. I belong somewhere. Ah, pia ni pia ni muhimu ukae kama una belong somewhere. Jua watu ita au nika naye mbona jua. Eh hey, michezo. Just so, uli uli where did you grow up? Mimi nilizaliwa hapa Nairobi, nalelewa hapa Nairobi. So I'm just I'm a city girl. Oh, you're a city girl. I'm a city girl. Yeah, but pia napenda Ushago. Ushago, Ushago ni wapi? Koru. Koru. Uh-huh. You often go there? Yeah, yeah, I try. Um it's just quiet, green. Ni Unajua hata huko hewa, yani kila kitu is just different. It's safi, it's just quiet, it's chill. So Koru uko huko karibu na Londian. Tuseme 45 minutes from Londian. Ah. Yeah. Watu ufanya nini huko sana? Waje usishana. Wanalima, tunalima sukari. Mm-hmm. Lakini eme, wacha hiyo ni Do you know ushaishika, ushaishika jembe wewe. Eh. Hey! But I'm not, I'm not good. Like, I won't lie. Nimeishika. Kushika ma <laughs> kushika na kufanya kazi <laughs> tofauti. Uh, kuitumia sio sana. Mkolako hauna uzoefu katika hiyo. Sina uzoefu kabisa. Soft hands. Mkolako tukiongelea. Ngaiwe. Mpaka mezinizumia mikono. Growing up in Nairobi. Mhm. Interest zao kabla hata hujakuja kwenye hii tasnia hii. Eh. Interest zao zikuwa gani hiyo hizo? I think kwangu um muziki I think was always there but sikutaka tikuwa mwanamuziki. It was just never a thing. So me na cheza piano. Um and that was my thing. And then I enjoyed acting, shuleni, mm. kidogo kidogo tu hapa na pale. You know like hizo ma home science, ma kunit, ku bake, yeah, yeah. those type of things. I used to enjoy those. But yeah, I have two brothers. So I was a tomboy, so I liked sports. I was on the basketball team. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, so I was just, you know, a regular kid. Kadoto na kitu kinamwacha ndio akuuliza. Lakini kabla akuulize. Naomba mimi nikuulize. Maparoko walikuwa ni wa kukazia. Sana. Wajua mamangu ni Mgiriama, babangu ni Mjaluo. Eh? Eh, hey, wale umeshtuka aje. Nyumbani hii usikia. <laughs> so mamangu ni Mgiriama. So unajua lazima uko watu wa pwani venye wanalea wasichana. You have to be... tunalea vizuri. Eh, hey, unalelewa vizuri sana. You have to be mwanamke wa heshima. Uh-huh. Hey, so mimi nilikuwa na curfew za 5 pm 6 pm hata nisemeni sana in case she's listening but um so i mean alikuwa na nikinga sana na vitu nyingi and i appreciate that because mm. baada ya muda nikaenda nikasomea maju and mm. i think if i didn't have that foundation mm. najua sasa nika sijui nini nika kitu umefungiwa alafu umefunguliwa tu milango mm. ukitoka nje now suddenly you have all this freedom you can go wild you can go crazy but i think having that foundation from just yeah. being raised well and they want to over protective but they certainly showed me the way I should go um so i'm grateful for it now back then i hated it eh? like siku ipenda kabisa but sai naweza angalia nyuma niseme hey yenyewe asante punishment to visit punishment hey. charges punishment to one to one tandikwa uko mfanya nini i think just just being naughty now being a tomboy i'm the first born so my brothers would always get me in trouble so then as the as the as the girl sasa comes chana kwa nyumba lazima unaambia unafaa ujue unafaa uwaonyeshe njia sio ati una una unawafuata tu na kenye wanafanya unafaa uwaonyeshe njia so i used to get in trouble for that sort of thing 
na kutolala mapema as ah. sasa yote nalala kuchelewa ah. <laughs> watu wanakuja wanazimata wasema wewe lala sasa ah. <laughs> sawa nimezimata akitoka hivi kidogo ndio mimi huyo nimeshawasha <laughs> ah. watu wa pwani wana hulk kama mtu mwenye damu ya pwani ana hulk ya kuampisha mzuri ah. are you good in the kitchen i believe i'm a, I, i'd say you know lazima ujichunge kabla useme that you are good cook eh? like you have to be careful how you toot your horn mm-hmm. but i can throw it down in the kitchen ha. oh really nini sana sana unakuwa unamfanya waiga na panic anakimbia home anakuja mbio mbio home sana sana anapenda my curry chicken ah. anapenda waliwanazi curry yeah, chicken well, well. Yeah. kuna couscous salad hapo yeah. pia anapenda yeah. mpaka anafanya anakula njahe hiyo anapenda sana yeah. alafu pia umeonyesha vitu za majuu kidogo so my pasta dishes wewe yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 wewe wasema arabi mnasikia mambo <laughs> Hmm? Lakini at least kila lakini at least kuku lazima ujue kutengeneza vizuri. Kuku kuku kasjuma hali zote. Watu wangu. Yaani demo ambaye anaongea hapa bali na Malkia huyu ambaye tuko naye hapa ambaye ni Kadot ni Joyce Omondi ame akupata tu introduction upate kumuelewa. Yaani kile ambacho tulikuwa uelewi kumhusu kabla. So when we come back bado kuna mengi yanazungumza kuhusu na muziki wake. Safari yake kwenye muziki yupo kwenye Runinga kama utazami Runinga Citizen basi una P Wow. Yaani una feeli mbaya sana. Mm-hmm. Si ndio? Mm-hmm. So tutakuja baadaye kuweza kuzungumza zaidi kama unazo hoja ama maswali ya kumuuliza usiogope kumwambia SMS ni 2206 oh, hashtag, hashtag ni mambo mseto. Ma'am. Yeah. Na zaidi hapo tutakuwa tunakuja kukujenga kuna mazuri ya pesa ambayo tunakupa mazuri 50,000.